Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks, I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by... Rob. And we've just finished playing Dice Stars. Now, this is a uh, light dice rolling game, so you have a bag here full of dice, and when it's your turn, you can draw one, two, or three dice. So maybe I choose to roll two dice. And there's a reserve here from previous rolls, along with the dice that you've rolled, and spent dice go somewhere else. And when it's your go, you can either pick all the dice of one colour, or you can pick all the dice of one number, so for example I could take both the fives, and then you're trying to fill out the numbers you've taken on this grid. So this is the end that we've just finished, so all this is kind of filled out. Um, but you can see here, if I decided to take fives, because there are two fives, you add them up which gives you ten, and because there's two dice, you have to put a cross in the first box, so I would put cross ten. So you can see here, because I've got cross, cross, fifteen, that means I actually took three dice to fill this out. The first two always become crosses, and the last dice then becomes the total of the dice that you've picked. So if I had picked blue dice, the total here is 10, I would use the blue column here instead, and I would put cross 10, because there's two dice. So it's a bit funny the way that works, but essentially you go through the game trying to fill these out. If you splurge to be on the whites, you can fill out, fill out the greens, and you're just trying to get the highest totals in here you can. At the end, you add up all the totals from each of these rows, but some of the dice, well, all the dice actually, have got one side which has a star in it, I think. Somewhere, there we go, there's the star. If you roll stars and you decide to take stars, you can fill out this sort of multiplier section here. And the way it works is, if you manage to put crosses, which correspond to the stars you've taken, in all the boxes in one row, it will double the value of that row. But if you've, like I did badly here, if you put crosses in some of them but you didn't manage to fill it up, then you actually get zero points for that row. It multiplies the total by zero. So um, you just keep playing until you fill all your boxes, add up all your points with the multipliers, and whoever has the highest total wins. What do we think? Uh, I think it's good. I think it's uh, more tactical than it looks because it looks it is very light and very easy, but there's a lot of strategy to it. There's a lot of forward planning to it, trying to make sure you're leaving boxes available so that you can take dice so you don't get that penalty for not being able to take them. Uh, and then trying to get the multipliers as well to yeah. W score. But yeah, it's really enjoyed it. Okay, rating out of 10? Six and a half. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. It feels a little bit like a slightly more complex version of Yahtzee. Um, I like the rolling dice mechanic. There's some interesting aspects where you can decide whether or not you put the dice back in the bag at various points in the game, so that gives you something to think about. Uh, in terms of getting your head around the strategy, it is difficult when you first play it to know what you should do, really. Or you're best taking this one or that one, because you're filling out a lot of crosses sometimes when you take quite a few dice. So, uh, interesting strategy, certainly. Uh, it is quite light, a little bit too light for me, personally. I think I'd be on a 6 out of 10. Um, but it's a nice, thoughtful game. Alright, thanks for watching. That was... Dice Stars.